Howdy folks, welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. We've moved forward a bit in time, I've got uh, a few things done in between episodes. As you can see, winter is upon us, uh, but we have a bit of a problem. We have too much poo. <laughs> and all these trucks I've got, uh, they're just not enough to keep up with it. So today we're going to start off, we're going to have to build a massive pipeline. Back away from that, that's loud. Uh, we're going to have to build a pipeline and get rid of the sewage. As you can see here, we are full up. Uh, we've got problems over here. If I can find the sewage. No, that's a pumping station. It's kind of hard to find unless you pop one of these down. There we go. Yeah, all these are full. People are starting to get sick. It's just not good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. And what we need to do is we need to run a line down. This is the closest, unfortunately, this is the closest water we have. And what we can do down here on the shore is just, yeah, pump our poo into here. You know, because why not? Now it is processed in the, in the treatment plant. Uh, we want a sewage discharge. So it takes wastewater. It's not raw sewage. Uh, some parts of the building have to be in the water. So we got to find right there. So I'm going to build that with rubles. And then we have to build a pipeline. And I believe... Oh, this doesn't take power. It's literally just a pipe. Okay. Well, that's good. I don't think it requires and oh no that's a construction there we go it does require power it wasn't done building yeah so we need uh we need some power down here and then we need the pipe so that's going to be today's project uh, it's going to cost a bit of money but it's kind of inevitable so we don't actually need this don't think I don't know that there's any reason to have that but it's already there so we'll just leave it uh, but I do want to go ahead and get rid of the trucks but we'll do that after we have the pipeline up and going so if we come back over here to sewage pipe uh, we've got one of our connections goes over to here the other connection is gonna head out of town and I think I'm hoping we can just build this And it will head out of town down to there. But I don't know if that's possible. We're gonna zoom all the way down here. Uh oh, where's our where's our thing? There it is. Uh, the tunnel is above terrain at some angles, so unfortunately we can't do that. We're gonna have to build it in pieces. Look onto there. So if we built to there and then down. No, we're still kind of. Uh, hopefully, since this is pretty much downhill. I'm hoping we can just, it'll just flow. Like that. Now, how much is that going to cost me? 400,000. Ouch. But we're going to do it. Here it comes. <laughs> Hey, did it get built? Okay, cool. Now we just need some power down here. So let's go ahead and pause again. Uh, so one of the things I've changed in between episodes is I kind of redid some of the power lines. Uh, you can see I've got a farm set up here. It's not built yet. We're going to build it with a construction office. But I made the power lines a little straighter. 
ran those out. And then I actually, I actually got some mods going. There's a lot of good mods out there. So this is a little transformer. It says two little spots to come off. So I've used those just to be more compact. Uh, over here, we're using the traditional transformer because we'll probably have a lot of power needs as we grow this town. But for spots where they just need to branch off, we're using that. So we've got the power out to here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. I'm going to go ahead and do 18 megawatt because we may have some kind of industry down here at some point. So let's run it down to like, say, here. And then uh, for now, let's just do the, uh, the small transformer. Say there. constructed and then we'll take one of these over well let's get the substation built first and let's just put it like there Building is without power supply. What did I mess up? Oh, I didn't actually connect those. Let's try that again. It's a little hard to see, especially in the winter time, like if you're actually connecting. I don't those want to connect. See a little better from this line. There we go. Now we have power down here. Are we dumping poo in the river? Sewage just charged per day. Uh oh. Am I gonna need? Am I gonna need some pumps? Well, since that was downhill, ooh, it, oh, it's going uphill there. Right. No, I mean, that's pretty much downhill, isn't it? Oh, it's still constructing. I thought it built everything. It's going to take a while. Wow. Uh, in the meantime, notify me when that's done. Uh, our trucks are just hauling off as much as they can. So while that's running, uh, I've expanded the, the city a little bit. And I've started working on some roads uh, with this construction office. I've got it set up to just do roads. And we've built out, you can see we've got some gravel here, starting to build out some gravel here. So it's been working on the roads. Uh, I've got these bypasses. I can actually get rid of this. That's not needed anymore. Yeah, I think we've got enough now queued up. I was having a little trouble getting enough gravel in here so I added another dump truck oh and I had to replace the distribution it was just too small Let's see where the old small one was so we have a medium distribution office now get that all set back up but I was having trouble with it keeping coal in the heating plant and gravel it was fighting so I got another dumper going there uh, more road networks and the farm so we've got a bunch of fields here 
So I want to try to get a construction office set up. I'm not sure where. Maybe over here. Yay, construction finished. All right, let's slow that back down to normal speed. Yay, we're, we're discharging. Because that's emptied out. Excellent. That is great news. So I can get rid of this sewer line now. I've got like 12 trucks on here. Uh, sell all vehicles. Yes. That gets rid of that line. I'll leave that there. I don't know if we'll need that at any point, but shouldn't hurt to leave it there. Uh, now, one thing we don't have is roads out here. In case of fire or whatnot. So I'm thinking of driving, of having a, a dirt road. Just kind of along where this pipeline is. And we can hook these guys up. And we'll hook up a footpath. Just in case that's needed. that hook up so then we'll just run a the fire station's not gonna be able to reach out here but eventually something might need to come out here now we don't have the free excavator right well we'll just follow the land contours for now at least until we get over here <laughs> then it's gonna get a little tricky this looks like a good place for like a huge gravel industry, but I don't know if we'll do that. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a free excavator. There's no way we're gonna get a road up that. So, uh, what if we did... There was green, right there. That's a lot of stuff. Well, I'll have to figure out uh, a road down once we have excavator free. It's not too steep. Quit your whining. You see the uh, coal mine road on my Twitch town? <laughs> that was way steeper. There. Now it's almost connected. I have to come along the uh, the lip here. It's a little hard to tell with all the trees. I think all my excavators are busy building roads. We get down. We're almost there. I'm going to just quickly turn that on. And we're going to buy a little bit of dirt work. It 
it's not costing us much. A few rubles. There we go. Alright, and we'll hook you in to there. This looks like a great place for an industry. Like I said, the fire station's not going to reach out this far, but I feel better having it connected. There we go. Poo problem taken care of. Uh, that should hopefully get our health back under control. Yeah, we've got everything going there. Uh, now I've got the technical services with all the snow plows. And I, I bought a water truck. I'm not 100% sure. And I built a little loading station for water. I'm not 100% sure what that truck does. But I'm not sure if we have water connection. I think we do here. I'm not sure if the farm needs water. So I don't know. I just, I've got a water truck there. We'll see what it does. I didn't run through the tutorials yet on that. So we got all these road construction going on. Let's get another construction office. And you can see I've added some mods. Uh, this has 12 vehicles. I think that'll be enough for what we're doing now. We're just going to use the regular one. I added a handful of mods. Uh, some like pipe crossings, conveyor crossings, that kind of thing. And uh, some slightly different things like construction offices. I think I had a smaller refinery. Just some little bits and bobs. Not very many mods. Uh, so let's go ahead and build... That doesn't require anything but electricity. So we'll go and build that. I'm going to build that with rubles. I need to turn that back to not auto build. There we go. Deliver only with trucks. And before I forget... We're going to have our distribution office keep it full of fuel. And also, I think when I redid the medium distribution for a little while, I had it buying fuel, which is not good. But we got that. We got that fixed. Uh, we also don't need to buy bitumen. I never did get that fixed up. We need to correct that while we're here. There we go. Don't need to buy... Uh, don't need to buy that. We've got it. But I don't think we've really done anything with uh, the bitumen yet. Alright, so this construction office uh, is going to do not roads, footpaths, or factory connections. It's going to do other stuff. I'm going to turn that up to two at least. And I'm going to cancel all these roads that it picked up. And we need to get our resources set so from there there and there and grab workers from there and then over here on this little road you can see I made a uh, concrete and asphalt plant that way the workers can just walk over here and they've got water connection uh, so we're bringing over gravel and uh, a little bit of bitumen for that so I guess we did buy a little bit. My mistake. <laughs> but now this construction office can start constructing our farm. So we'll turn that on to construction. And then we need to buy some stuff. So what do we need here? Let's get a bulldozer. A bus. Concrete mixer. We need a covered hull. We're gonna want a couple dumpers. An excavator. Uh, couple open holes. Maybe, well, we'll go with one. Uh, and then we're going to want a paver, a road crane, a roller. I think that should. Do we need a tower crane? I think the road crane will do for now. So let's go ahead and get a... Uh, another open hole to transport stuff. Yeah, they're out of fuel, but the fuel truck should arrive here shortly. So they're going to have to drive up to the gas station for now.
So I'm hoping next year to be able to get some crops growing. We'll see if we can get this built before planting time. And let's go ahead and queue up that and the storage. So we have a farm, we have storage for the crops, uh, and then we have a food factory, and then we have a warehouse. And then we may get a clothing factory or something else eventually, but that's what we've got right now. I didn't leave, probably didn't leave enough room, but we'll see. We can always change or expand that. Uh, but I want to start getting food in. And then at some point, uh, we have a food factory, distillery, livestock farm. That takes in crops and water. So we would need, and that takes, that's a pretty big operation, isn't it? Uh, I knew we would need a livestock hall. I guess that keeps the livestock until they're ready for the slaughterhouse. So we would need a lot of stuff to get meat. So we're just going to buy meat for now. All right, we got our first delivery there. What do you bring some gravel over? Brought some concrete and some asphalt. All that stuff working. Uh, missing resources, gravel, yeah. He's gonna go get some gravel. Hopefully we have enough up here. Yeah, we've got gravel there. Uh, speaking of gravel, I wanna get a gravel industry going at some point. I'm not sure where we're going to put that because a lot of things feed off of the gravel industry. Uh, like cement, bricks, prefab panels, stuff like that. But we do have a little bit of gravel. I think that's too steep there. Uh, we've got some gravel here. We could maybe utilize. Turn that back to normal speed. Um, the other thing I want to get going at some point is uh, a power plant. Because we're making fuel. Well, we were making fuel. Buildings without drinking water. So shouldn't my water truck take care of that? He's showing us connected, but yeah, I don't understand. Oh, it's transporting. Oil Town Water Substation. Where's that? Why is he taking water to there? Doesn't make any sense. I'm really confused. So does that mean if I put a... Water Substation out here? Which I thought we had one. Yeah, we've got a water substation there. Why are they without drinking water? I'm really confused. I don't know what that truck's doing, so I'm going to sell it. Uh, sell. Yes. I don't know why it's doing that. Somebody in the comments can let me know. For now, let's just get another snowplow. All snowplows all the time. Uh, it's possible we don't have enough pressure, is that? Yeah, our pressure is really low. So I might need to put another pump in there. Yeah, there's not. I don't think there's enough water pressure out to here. The source is not, oh wait, the source is not sending resources? Wait, okay, hold the farm. Hold the phone. Something's going on with our water. Do 
You are out of chemicals. Why are you out of chemicals? Because I forgot to set you as a place to take chemicals. That's why you're out of chemicals. There we go. Well, let's do a one-time purchase. Okay, yeah, we ran out of water. That's it's not water pressure, it's we ran out of water. We got, our, we got to get our tank filled back up. <laughs> yeah, we ran out because we ran out of chemicals. Because when I redid the distribution office, I forgot to tell it to take chemicals there. So That was pretty silly. Uh, did I tell it to take chemicals over here? Sure didn't. Alright, let's make sure they always have chemicals. And we've got one more connection we can do for that distribution office. Then we'll need another one, so we'll see. Hopefully we got that squared away. For a while I was having trouble keeping up with the stores, but it looks like they're okay now. That's good. Uh, we still got... Ooh, we're getting a little low on coal there. Hopefully that's a coming. Alright, now we have drinking water. Um, I added some more oil jacks. You might have seen those. Uh, we're still not getting enough down in here. So, yeah. Power plant. We need to put a uh, probably a switch in here somewhere at some point. So, what's it take for a power plant? Let's let's wrap up this episode. We're, we're way over on time. I've been trying to keep them around 20-25 minutes. Uh, there's just so much going on. It doesn't always happen. So we have coal. We have a gas power plant. Oh, it burns the oil. It doesn't even need the uh, the fuel. All right. It's called a gas power plant, but it burns the oil. All right. <laughs> Seems kind of strange, but okay. And it takes in, it can take in all kinds of oil. It needs. Uh, Sewer and water. So if we're going to expand out this way, maybe I'd want it over, over here-ish. Needs flat terrain. That might work. out with the pipe and get in there. Uh, I'm not sure the workers can reach there. That little pipe right in the way. And okay, we need flat terrain. Well, I've got a little army of bulldozers. See what we can do about that flat terrain. So I would kind of like the uh, same worker pool over here to use for the power plant. There we go. Snug that right in there. So we did that. I'm going to suspend construction just so it doesn't start trying to construct. Go to liquids and pipe connection. Uh, we need off of here. Well, here, let's do this. Let's, uh, I don't, shouldn't need to pause it. Let's cut that out and then. Oh, 
Pipeline Overpass Road 1. Let's do that. So I like that. I was using this, you know, just ramping it up. Grab that mod there. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna need another one about here-ish. Oh, come on. We'll cheat a little bit. I'm gonna put a node there, then I can delete stuff. All right, so then back over to pipes. With this guy coming through. All right, he comes off of there, and then you come down to Brett Row. Uh, here. Can't quite come in because of the hill, huh? There we go. Had to get a little creative. And then you come down the hill. Like so. And that will feed oil down. So this road was laid as like one long segment. So since that snowplow was on there, I couldn't cut that. So if you put a little junction there, then yeah, that's how the, the navigation works. Now we can get oil down to our gas power plant because that's what it needs. So how much is that gonna cost? If I were to say auto build it, 184, that's not, it's not terrible. We could stop importing power. I'm going to do it. It's going to take a little while to construct. Uh, so we'll let that construct. We should have our own power in the next episode. Thanks, as always, for hanging out. The Republic continues to grow. Uh, appreciate your comments and your views. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.